His story wasn't supposed to go this way. In reality, Jaden McKinstry shouldn't even be at St. John's this year. He should be starting his freshman year of college, but sometimes life is just unpredictable. Let's go back to late 2016. Halfway through his freshman year at Fremont Ross, his mom put him in the car and didn't give him a choice. He was going to transfer. Cassandra is a strong single mom. and She wanted the best for her boys. She told me she wanted me to have a better future and this was, this was the route to go to have a better future. And at first I couldn't see that, you know. Um, you know, all your friends are in one place and you've been in that one place your whole life, so that's where I wanted to be. But, you know, after being here for a little bit, it kind of clicked for me. Not only did it click, McKinstry started to gain the attention of major college football programs across the country. As a sophomore, coaches started taking notice. The last uh, personal hand-delivered piece of mail I got was from the uh, Ohio State's O-line coach. He said, give this to Jaden. So he was on everyone's radar. But as I said, sometimes life is unpredictable. In the summer of 2018, while playing in a summer AAU basketball game, Jaden went up for a layup and his life changed in that moment. I went for a layup and then I just remember getting need in my groin area. And then after that, it kind of swelled up and I had to get surgery to like remove whatever was whatever that was and that's when they found it. What they found was rhabdomyosarcoma, a rare form of cancer that forms in soft tissue. He was given a 50-50 shot to survive. I remember just being like confused, like really confused because you know, you never really think that could happen to you. You see it in movies and on TV shows, but you know, when it's in real life, you're just like, sort of like, whoa. The news sent shockwaves through the Titans football program. <clears throat> you don't ever want to see uh, any kid have to go through that. Uh, especially a kid like him. Yeah, it's. Not something you want to see. Give me a sec. The fight was on. Jaden knew that this type of cancer could be a death sentence. Oh, there was times where I wondered what, what was going to happen when they told me that. Uh, yeah, that did kind of cross my mind, maybe once or twice, but, you know, I had to stay positive and tell myself I was going to get through it. But Jaden fought. He spent an entire year going through surgeries and chemotherapy and trips down to Cincinnati Children's Hospital. His treatments ended in June of 2019, and he was determined to make it back into the athletic arena. Because if I told myself I wouldn't play again, then I probably wouldn't play again. So I had to keep telling myself, you know, as soon as I'm done, I'm going to get on the field and on the court and start playing. McKinstry was in for another fight. He returned to St. John's last year, and it took some time to get himself back into playing shape. At this point, he was scheduled to graduate, but he'd lost an entire year of high school, so the St. John's administration had to appeal to the OHSAA to give him a fifth year of eligibility. In a very rare decision, they granted him that opportunity very quickly. Now he's back at it. He's expected to be a huge piece to an explosive St. John's offense, and he certainly isn't going to squander the second chance he's been given. You know, it just shows you know how quick things can be taken away from you, so you have to take everything. You can't take anything for granted, you know. You know, when you're on the field, you just got to think to myself, like, you know, this could be my last play, or, you know, this could be my last game or my last drive, so you got you to gotta take it all. He's got a great family, his mom. I mean, she made so many sacrifices for him that it's, it's just really, really happy for him. Just blessed to have him be a part of our community and teach us. He's a young man that understands the importance of how fragile life is. That was life and death, so that's something that he thinks about all the time. So he's worked his tail off. He works his tail off out here on the field, and he's worked well in the weight room. So, yeah, he's a man on a mission, no doubt. 